Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome to today's devotion for March 12th. Today's devotion is titled Friends and Enemies, and the Bible reading is from Romans chapter 12, verses 17 to 21. Do not pay... Re- yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I'm sick. I am sick now. Um... Do not repay anyone evil for, oh my goodness, evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Oops. Hold on, guys. I'm struggling today. Scholar Kenneth E. Bailey told of the leader of an African nation who'd learned to maintain an unusual posture in the international community. He'd established a good relationship with both Israel and the nations surrounding it. When someone asked him how his nation maintained this fragile balance, he responded, We choose our friends. We do not encourage our friends to choose our enemies for us. That is wise and genuinely practical. What that African country modeled on an international level is what Paul encouraged his readers to do on a personal level. In the midst of a lengthy description of the characteristics of a life changed by Christ, he wrote, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. He goes on to reinforce the importance of our dealings with others by reminding us that even the way we treat our enemies reflects our trust in and dependence upon God and his ultimate care. To live in peace with everyone may not always be possible. Hold on. After all, Paul does say, if. But our responsibility as believers in Jesus is to allow his wisdom to guide our living so that we engage those around us as peacemakers. What better way could there be to honor the Prince of Peace? Where do you struggle to live at peace? How could being an intentional peacemaker interject grace into that conflict. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Sorry I struggled with the reading a little bit today. Have a great day, everybody.